Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to another episode of the V Team Podcast. It's here with your host, Boozy. It's Ronick. And we Rob. got exactly. And we talked about a lot of things today. We talked about the best way to hard or soft launch your ex, green and red flags in the club for boy, both boys and women. Um, what else did we talk it's about? Actually, there was like Dude, PDA in the gym. PDA in the gym is insane. Oh, we had some good stuff on there. Oh, we had a we had a surprise FaceTime from we a did old have, friend of the podcast. Yes. Y'all gonna have to tune in and see we who it is. We did have Let a very 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 special surprise FaceTime. Red and green flags in the club. Yeah, I said he, that already. He said that. I already, already said that. He literally said that. Sure. I just said that. <laughs> We're gonna tap in. All right. We're speaking of tapping in, go ahead and throw. Go ahead and throw a like oh, button. Red and green flags at the club. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Um, go ahead and smash that like button, hit the comment, throw the follow button, and we got a good episode for y'all. Oh, you know, we also talked about red and green flags at the club. I forgot about We did that. talk about red and green yes. flags at the club. I swear we talked about more than just that. <laughs> <laughs> so we please talk about that for a minute. <laughs> we, we talked about that for a minute, but also, like, just go and smash that like button, go and listen. We, we talked about Lean to the Plug, we talked about Adam 22, we talked about Jason Love. So please. Go ahead and listen to <laughs> what we talked about today. We got a funny one for y'all. We'll see you guys on the other side. All right. Off white jeans. I feel brand new. Throwing some queens. I just lead by example. Gold medals on my neck. Kurt Angle. I'm a big boss. Really nothing I can't handle. Support for the B Team podcast today is brought to you by Manscaped, who's mm. the best in the business for your balls, Number man. One. Your Number balls. One. My, mine are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Manscaped. Because of, because of Manscaped. Squeaky hey, clean. Hey, yes. the performance package is the ultimate men's hygiene bundle. Over 7 million men worldwide trust Manscaped. Oh, my gosh. And we have a deal for you <laughs> 20% off with code B Team at manscaped.com. If you got a beard, like these two gentlemen over here, go get you a little beard beard hedger. You know what I mean? If you got nose hairs like him, <laughs> go get you a little weed whacker. And stop playing. Stop playing with your hygiene, y'all. B team at manscaped.com. Get you 20% off and free shipping. Back to the pod. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> fucking I, hate that shit dude, we're getting better we're getting, we're getting better with the soundboard i think we're getting cleaner with it y'all let us know if you guys listened last week let us know what you guys thought about the soundboard but um welcome mm. back everybody um i know i know we got a good one for you guys for us for them today huh super excited about this one we got a lot of really juicy topics really fucking juicy i can't help but look at the agenda that we have prepared for you guys today Did um, you, uh, anybody any, anybody at all like i've had a question that i've been thinking about for a minute what's up you ever like plan like I'm not like you ever like plan a first date with someone and you just can't figure out what time of day would be the most optimal. What is the worst time possible for a first date? The worst time possible is probably like, like worst time of day. Time of day, either either morning or like I was gonna say like or t- 10 or like is or probably- like actually the worst absolute worst would probably be like. Two or three p.m. Ten a.m. Ten a.m. is the word. Ten a.m. <laughs> so you can go on like a you can ten a.m. Like you can go on like a brunch. You can go yeah. on like you can get a little a brunch. Boat. You can go okay. on like ten a.m. The worst. You know, mm. like you know, yeah. like there there could be a lot to pop. The thing about like a two to three p.m. is like some restaurants are closed. You know what I'm saying? It's not even happy hour yet. Yeah, nothing's mm. going on at two to three p.m. And then like say the date goes well, and then like two hours later you leave the venue and it's four. The fuck you gonna do it for? What day of the week know? is it though? That matters. Any any that day of the week? No, 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 no. If it's no. like a Sunday, it's just if it's not like, like a, a Sunday, two to three p.m. It's like respectful. You can like go. It's okay. just not a sexy hour. Well, like either. it is not <laughs> sexy it is, hour. You know what I think is an even less sexy hour? Mm. Five p.m. I think five. <laughs> but that's closer to nighttime, and it's but also here, closer to happy hour. But here's it the, is happy hour. Five o'clock. True. It is five o'clock. True. Five o'clock's happy hour. I'll I'll I'll. But I think six. Then you're getting like you're easing into like into sexy you hour. know into sexy hour five. It's like I just got off work. Okay, can like, you can you define what sexy hour is, Rob? What is sexy hour? Sexy hour is like time of day where like you know sun starts to go down a little bit. Um, it's like the next move is either like maybe another <laughs> bar or like back to the house. You know what I'm saying? Like that's sexy hour. That was hella sexy. Yeah, I, I mean, as long like, as you got a house, you can always go back to the house. Yeah, but like it's <laughs> it weird matter. going yeah, back. Yeah, but like, like here's the like, thing: if 5 it's like p.m. though, you do that. Five p.m. You get a couple of drinks, and like maybe you guys can get dinner right after. And cool, maybe you can mm-hmm. have like an early night. But I'm just thinking, like, think about that person's day before you link at five p.m. They've had a full day already. They haven't had time. It's like that weird, awkward hour where they haven't had time to like reset from that day and then get ready for this date. It's 
it's you're just getting them at their peak low energy because they're either just got off work. Maybe the vibes are like imagine like 5 p.m. is like t- what's the typical wor- working time? Like nine to five is what people say. Mm. Um, nine to five, right? You get off right at five. Oh shit. Okay, maybe you get off 4 30. You go make it to your day to five. It's like, fuck. Like I just was in the hospital working in the ER for seven hours. And not me personally, you know. <laughs> 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 but I'm talking about like someone else. Like, what yeah. are you dating a nurse? Yeah. Um, Something like that. We're so, you know, yeah, I it's because 5 p.m. is like inconsiderate almost. I, I, I could see how 5, it is. Almost 5 p.m. might be yeah. like if you're a guy and you ask for like you propose the 5 p.m. time, like you're the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> but also like it goes well two hours later and it's like seven o'clock. It's like you're going to ask her to come back to the crib at seven o'clock. It's like, but like she doesn't have exactly and she doesn't yeah. have time. Like maybe like she does. Like maybe she's excited for the date and she's like, oh, you know, I'm feeling him. But like you're putting her in the shitty spot where like now she's stressed going into the day. She's like, I just got off work. I'm in my work stuff. I don't have time to go home. Like really brush up. Well, she could also say, nah, five doesn't work for me. Yeah. Right. We're talking (laughs) about, we're talking about like, we're we're, we're just talking about the worst possible. Then if she agrees to five, then it works for her. Then it's not. Well, maybe she's into you, but it's not considerate to her. Maybe. Maybe. But I, I mean, know. like, Cause I maybe, because yeah, also yeah, at the same know. time, no one's really planning that far ahead, too. Like, 5 p.m., like, oh, yeah, sure, I'm off at like five. Yeah. But then it gets to the day and you're like, fuck. It and could like, be, it could be like one of those things where it's like, we know it's, we say five, but it's not really five. You know what I mean? Yeah, but like, it's but five, go, it's not really five. But now you're on the fly and you're adjusting first date times. That's not a good telltale yeah. sign. No. I mean, you go through all the work of like setting up the date. Maybe it's like your first date, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're putting in work to set up this first date and now your date's over at like, or you, your first spot's over at like four or five p.m. and like now four you don't might know be what, worse than five. By the four way, is worse four, than four, five. Five. four is worse. Four might be worse. Four is than like five. Five. this guy ain't got shit going yeah. on. He's gonna do his shit all day. You playing yourself? Rob a mouth. He's Rob a lip syncing. He's like, I know what this shit's about to say. Uh, we Honestly, are, we are still working. There's on this no, <laughs> there's no bad time of day to go out on a date if you're generally just trying to have a good time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if true. you're lit, if you're lit, then you can make any time of the day a lit ass time. Yeah. Three forty five in the morning. But I mean three PM is objectively that's, less sexy than like eleven. On like a Sunday though, that's afternoon cool. Afternoon delight. On a Sunday, that's cool. <laughs> what no, the, but what the fuck I, is afternoon delight? What the fuck Tell. is that? Are you guys making what? shit up? What is that? What afternoon delight is just when you have sex in the afternoon. Has no one heard of that? I've never heard of it. I didn't know there was a term for it. Let that. us know in the comments if y'all heard of afternoon delight. I can't like be making this Sounds like that's a Ben and Jerry's ice cream flavor. Sounds like a Ben and Jerry's ice cream flavor. Our parents probably know that term. No, stop. No, not because like, you know. I mean, they probably do because of that. But that's not why I'm saying no. But like. Hey man, it's a it's that tale's been around as long as like fucking another old term that I can't think of. I don't have coffee what? this morning. Yet. I don't what's know the, I don't what's the an, other old term one. that you can't think. of? You know what goes around comes around. Yeah, like, shit. You know, that's like, a golden like, rule. Yeah. Stay in school. Yeah, yeah you know, shit. treat others how you want to be treated. Yeah, afternoon delight. It's hotter than two mice in a wool sock. <laughs> yeah, afternoon what? delight. Yeah, that's a that's a good one. What did you say actually? <laughs> two, two, it's hotter than two mice in a wool sock. Yeah. No one says that. I've never, never heard, heard that, that before in life. No, no one says And I'm that. actually pretty confident to say like most people haven't heard that <laughs> <No>. in life. <laughs> I've never heard that. All right, so cool. Dates. Five, oh, 5 so what, are we, what are we sticking what's, with? What's I'm time? saying 5 p.m. I mean, five? obviously, other than like the obvious outlandish hours, like yeah. 3 in the morning, fucking anything like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But like yeah. 5 p.m., like dates that could be set. I, yeah. I just I've, think it's very dependent on what day of the week it is. Honestly, I'm going to adjust. I think 4 p.m. I think 4 p.m. is yeah. like, there's really nothing that can go right. One up you and say 3 p.m. I think, I, I I think you can make three I work. agree with the 3 p.m. I think you can make three work. 3 p.m. I think you can make three work. What if you catch a baseball game? You catch a baseball game at 3. You can catch no, a baseball, baseball game, catch a baseball at, game at 5. Or at 12. <laughs> yeah. you they, can, they have Giants games at 12.45. Yeah. Mm, you know that's yeah, that's, that's all that's not too bad that's also goes yeah, but 1245 is good but it goes back to what Saturday, i was saying Sunday. there's no bad date there's no bad time to go on a date as long as you're lit as long as you're both free as, as long as you're both free as but long as it works for it, both of everybody yeah. right you know, but so you also fine. have to be able to have like the mental capacity like you have to think about it 5 p.m they've already had a day and you're getting i don't them know what if right they're like a night owl what if they're not what if they just woke up at two yeah what if they just woke up at two some people be waking up at two some people work the night shift yeah you, oh, wait, how about you? How about no, wait, you? If you work the night shift, you can't go on five o'clock. You but if you work the day shift, you, you know what I'm saying? You so, so you had a whole ass day. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey, Thank you for I, proving I, my <laughs> point. <laughs> I was trying to say something, but I didn't really say much right there. Um, all right. <laughs> 
Well, yeah. Okay. So what? Bad time to go on a date. But say you're on a date, first date, maybe it's not with the person you just met, but maybe it's like a first date with like an ex that you're rekindling a relationship with. Do you post them or like, nah? No, hell no. What are you trying to, <laughs> wait, so are you trying to ask? How do you, how do you soft? No. Are, you trying, are, you, are you trying to ask how do you soft or hard launch your ex on social media? Yeah, basically, yeah. basically. Yeah, I don't know. It's tough. I don't know. Uh, well, it depends. I feel like it's different for guys. Uh, how how would you like how how would you go about it? Um, I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't post it like right away either. But I mean, I wouldn't hide it either. What would be your process of like deciding think, when to I post? Think, I think it's I think it's slightly different for guys, right? Like, if I were to have gone back with my ex or something, I'm not gonna hide it like from my boys, right? Because yeah, know. well, your boys, yeah, yeah, yeah like, I'm not gonna hide it from yeah. my boys. But versus like your social media. when you go through it, when a girl goes through like a breakup, she's more likely to have like kind of talk shit about you to her girlfriends and her girlfriends have been like oh like he ain't shit blah blah you're better fuck him like you're better off without him so then her friends are more likely to have a problem with her getting back with her ex than a guy's friends is for him getting back with his ex you know what i'm saying all right but fuck like that like What's the best way to relate? Yeah, how are you doing? Uh, how, you, how you? How you? Like, are like, you? Would you maybe like take like you know like lead up to the fact that you're with someone and like let's say you guys go to like a fair or something like yeah. you take like, like a, would you, you like would post you, like, a picture of like, pay, the like shoes and the just, nails like, her shoes and like you can tell it's like a girl at the <laughs> yeah. bottom with like two tickets yeah to something like oh, some fresh I'm, ass kicks I'm with somebody or, but you can yeah. see like, but like you can't tell who you can't it tell is. But, but like you can tell it's not a dude it could be your homie with long ass hair yeah yeah or just like a new girl you know what I mean like could be somebody else but like something like that where like you don't really know right yeah, but what do you saying? so in a no situation, direct no direct tag but what about in a situation for the first where, for the first what, post yeah but what about in a situation no so i agreed what about in a situation where like odds are like your homies and like her homies like follow the both of you so like if you post a picture of like her lower half with like the kicks and then she posts a pic like on her story of like the full fit and you can see the same kicks mm. people are like Ah, uh, 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 yeah. uh, is that is but like then again like no one's really watching your stuff like that no i'm, like, wa- I'm watching yeah shit like but that. like i'm watching shit like oh, that for okay. sure I'm, <laughs> I'm definitely, I'm, you are the target audience I, I, i'm definitely <laughs> putting two and two together on that for, for sure. sure but that that's the reason for the soft launch right like the the private investigators are going to put two and two together so like it's not a hard launch okay then how, how would you so hard what, launch? so i guess like what we're like are you like ashamed in a sense to like bring that back or like or is it kind of like a i know i was just out here but like look who's back (laughs) no it's more so like i mean it's the same reason for any kind of hard (laughs) for any kind of soft launch right like it could be your it could be your girl it could be like a new girl like soft (laughs) (laughs) soft launching is just like it's just it's a soft launch right you're easing you're easing people's opinion into it well you know then what I mean? well why do you care about anyone's opinion though yeah that's <laughs> what i'm like, saying like you know, you're who happy cares? right yeah right so like uh, full-fledged you should just like post a story yeah. with the both of y'all just kicking it because like when you guys were in the peak i know but it's the same reason that would be, it's the same reason you're not just like you're you go on a first date and you're not just like tagging them you because know it's saying? not like, a first date because you guys have already built that yeah. i know but you're it's the same reason like you're not gonna be like you're gonna you're not gonna post your first date with a girl of course and tag them because everyone's gonna be like oh this must be your girl or whatever so like before that is defined, right, so you, when, you do the you do the soft shit. So okay, when do you do the hard launch? I want to hear this. Yeah. When is it appropriate to do the hard launch? Um, I guess you guys just both have to be on the same page. <laughs> 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 no, you gotta like fucking shake hands and dap up and be like, all right, we're doing this. And then, yeah. and then, so yeah. how long until like the rekindling? Do you think that conversation normally hap- comes about? I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> It's what whatever you, you guys are comfortable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. Wait, like the comfort level shouldn't it come like naturally though? If it's like your ex, <laughs> <laughs> it absolutely should come naturally, and like it could come naturally. But there's like there could be a bunch of factors. You know what I'm saying? Like what that go into it? Like it's not just it's not just me. Mm-hmm. It would be like the other person too. You know? You know I've never like in the, in the time like of me knowing you and like us doing this podcast. I've never heard you just provide such well thought out answers. And like, <laughs> you honestly, you know? like this is the most articulate. Yeah, I've this is the most articulate you've ever been. Knowledgeable about this subject. No, I, I'm, I just I'm knowledgeable a lot about a lot of things. <laughs> 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 no, you're not. Knowledgeable yeah. about a lot. I'm knowing. Dude, you're very well spoken. So <laughs> I mean, okay. So what would you say the worst way to like 
go about bringing it back to social media would be i think it's people would like you know what i think it is like mm. have you seen those people couples that like i think it's usually you'll see it more with like celebrity couples or yeah. something and they do it for their fans that are like also in the relationship but i've definitely seen regular people like or like people that aren't celebrities do it as well they like post like a, a post about their breakup be like hey guys we decided to go our separate ways i'm like what the fuck are you telling me this for <laughs> i was like i don't need to know this shit and then people that like that and then they get back together. They're like, nothing could keep our love apart. Like we were yeah. star-crossed lovers. We were meant to be. Or like they post we're going like, to give this another shot while working on ourselves too, but also working on us. I'd be like, unfollow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> unfollow immediately. Yeah. Block. An, ag an aggressive hard launch post of them like kissing or some shit like on their story or like a post like that's eat. That that's makes sad. you go out like with no context too. I feel like that. It is tough though. Like if it's with your ex and then like, you know, like people see this shit, like you're with someone for all that you're with someone all the time. Like you do everything with them. Like you have no, like you just don't think about posting them. Cause it's mm. like, it's also like your best friend. Too. Yeah. yeah. Like you guys do everything together. And then when suddenly that stops, but like you're still posting stuff and like, you know, you're just out here, like, you know, like you're with these other girls and it's like, Oh, I don't know how this girl would feel about that. Then they go to your gram. They see, Oh, she's not on here anymore. Mm. And people are like, Oh, they broke up. People that aren't in your like day to day. Yeah. So then to see all that, and then to hard launch with like that and come back like months later and it's like making out in your story. It's like, yeah, that's just sad, going out. You know? I was like, I was like, okay. I was like, how do you with to the viewer who it doesn't matter to like, how do you bounce back from that? Like you were just like on like three different dates over the last like three months, soft launching some other random girl or like doing some other stuff or like girls in the club or something like that. And like, now you're at like, <laughs> like the Alameda County fair. <laughs> 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 something like that yeah it's crazy right like, yeah uh, i mean you crazy. just gotta you just gotta be smooth about it yeah, you know just, what keep, I'm just keep a player man yeah just keep a player man you keep, things keep player. that shit player yeah. <laughs> speaking of the alameda county fair did you see e40 was just there yeah no 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 i didn't go <laughs> <laughs> but i heard e40 was just there <laughs> anyways <laughs> e E40 is a legend, but man, you could see that dude everywhere. I feel like you could walk into a 7 Eleven in the Bay Area and just see him there. I love that, man. Like, he yeah. is like puts on for the Bay, fan of all the teams I'm fan. I'm a fan of. Like, he's just he's just that dude. Like, he represents like all your favorite rappers from like outside of the Bay all love E40. Like, they all like grew yeah. up listening to E40. Real community but what, guy. I, mm. what I will say though is like, as he's starting to get older, like, you know how like if you cut open a tree and you see like the in, rings the rings and you can see how old that tree is yeah that's happening with like the wrinkles on e40's bald head mm. like that is that's why he wears the beanie the that's way. why yeah, he wears the beanie, beanie a lot like with each like two three years like you can see like a new wrinkle progressively <laughs> form but like i love that man and he is the goat out the bay uh but you can just you know like keep that on <laughs> 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 when was the last time you saw him without a hat or a beanie? I feel like I never see him without a hat or a beanie. Like I don't wrinkles? know, like something like that should be falling off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I saw, it, but I, see, I saw it one time and I was like, "Damn!" You were like, "Damn!" Credit or debit? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to E4. Shout out to Forty Water. Yeah. Like, absolute go. All love. <laughs> All love. Oh. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Speaking of love. Dude, I fucked up. Dude. What, what'd you do? I fucked up my wrist at the gym the other day. And it was it at the gym? Man, you told me you fell off an ATV. You ain't no, that no happened weights. after. That, oh, really? So that I did fall off an ATV. Okay. Um, With my girl on it, too. and it, She fell off, too? Well, she, it was a two-person ATV. So I, you both fell off. They told us. Uh, whose no, fault was it? It was mine. And they told it, no, but I was whipping <laughs> smooth. For, well, they told us. I was. We were in this pit, and they told us, like, don't do donuts. Mm -hmm. You know me. <laughs> in the sand no yeah in the sand and yeah. so like i but i didn't try to do a donut like if you come up like fast um it'll like the if you don't come like with the right like momentum like mm. it's just gonna guide you back down so that i wasn't trying to do a donut like it just had me doing that but i was like i could have easily exited out but i was like i'm gonna best this sand hill like it's in sand dune it's not gonna do me like this and then i did and it guided me down but i was going so fast and i didn't make it up i was like oh shit so i could tell that we were about to tip we didn't crash we tipped to the side mm -hmm. but um i could tell we were about to tip and like if we did it right there i was like oh she's gonna break her arm so i like had to make sure we got like above this dune so we could like fall on like smooth surface mm -hmm. um knowing it was still tipping anyways and we did and i broke my fall on my wrist so i heard it too to answer your question mm -hmm. it wasn't atv no nah, i was at the gym dude um doing a little chest press you know got trying to get work on me trying to get back to a, where i should be mm -hmm. my final form mm -hmm. um but we do like me, 35s 
on the trash, trash pass? Come on, man. <laughs> Why are you weight watching? <laughs> I have 45s. <laughs> 45s. All right. I was cool. on chess. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Put a little respect. That's cool. Put a little respect, you know, you know, something light. Um, don't don't come for me in those comments. <laughs> um, or do, I don't care. But um, nah, bro, tell me like, so I had just hurt my wrist and like, like my wrist always been fucked up. Rob's known this. Um, and I can put it down. I was like, damn, I look right over to my left, bro. Tell me why I see like this couple. They have like, they're like little like social, like they have like a phone camera out, mm. like, bef- like buy like the free weights. Phone cameras out. It's recording them. They're like both like in really good shape. Yeah. And then just start kissing right mm. by the weights. And I'm like, this. Hey, I'm all for. <laughs> I'm all for like you know showing love to your girl, your man, whatever. But this ain't the place for that. Yeah. No, it's not. The gym <clears throat> what do you guys think nah, about gym PDA? The, the gym is not the place to show PDA. I think it's dope to work out with like a girl, your girl, yes. whatever. But you can't be in the gym like hella making out, like yeah. you know, like doing all that shit, like. It's a it's a place you know you guys are going to like better yourselves. You don't gotta show off the fact that y'all are like. So what whatever. what's like the line like what's the what's the line you can't cross for like I PDA? Think, I mean I think y'all Just maybe kissing? like maybe like a quick peck is cool. A quick peck is quick, fine. Quick peck is a cool, quick but peck like is fine. making out and shit. Making like, out is insane. Making you, out at the gym you, is insane. Making seen? out at the gym is insane. <laughs> it's insane. It's, it's that's, criminal. That's, yeah, no, it's that's, criminal. It's criminal. It's also gross. <laughs> yeah, it's also there's it's there's other people like. Oh, like imagine like it's not sexy either. Like imagine you're making out in a public gym and someone's like right there like, oh, you know, like this is my intimate moment with my girl. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. And like this fucking sweaty dude just comes up like, hey man, how many sets you got left on that? (laughs) It's like, oh, moment's dead. And now like. like, It's hella true. Yeah. It's like even if you're the couple. Those couple workouts, you know what I mean? Like where where she's like holding onto you while you're doing like a pull up or something. That shit's cap. Yeah, should they have a belt, bro. Yeah, put a belt, put a belt. fucking belt on. No, throw there a fucking, are some couple workouts uh, I've seen, but it's like there. y'all use the living room, like use yeah. y'all's living room for that. It's like, Especially if yeah. it's like obstructing like walkways, yeah, shit like that. It's it's crazy. Yeah, you know, that shit is ridiculous. But like, like, there are ways to be like support. Like if you're like, like if she's benching and you're like helping her like and you're fucking spotting her, yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Like yeah. it's all good. That's if you guys normal. are like, yeah, you guys are flipping sets or whatever. Like you know, like if so she does like she kills like a great set or something yeah. like that right after like quick peck, fine. Yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, so proud of you. Boom, done. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But like. Maybe like a little ass a little, smack, a little, a little ass, ass smack. That's okay, little, like, you know, as like good job, you know. I see you. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So I think that's fine, but I think extreme forms of pda like making out at the gym or like grinding on each other when you're when you're like <laughs> <laughs> when, when you're throwing like, it back at the when gym yeah when she's Out throwing it back on the squat rack <laughs> when, when you're when you're squatting when on the squat rack this is just slapping and you're like yeah hey. no, dude. <laughs> or like i've seen shit on instagram where it's like dudes are benching and then like a girl will be like straddling them while they're on the bench oh yeah that shit's cap that shit yeah, is that's cap. stupid yeah. but that shit does, is what if that like they gets say the blood that's flowing. to like boost testosterone and for her to Man. Pick up. Pick up. Should I pick it up? Pick up. Is this your brother? Nah, it's not my brother. Should I pick it up? Pick Who up. Who's this? Hey, bro, we're filming right now, man. Hey, yeah, we're filming right now, man. <laughs> we got the boy Chris Rodriguez. Hey, bro, what's good, bro? <laughs> Yeah, I know. Okay, yeah, yeah, we had yeah, a busy yeah. week. We had a busy week, yeah. man. What's it, up? It, it is Tuesday. You got something to be- <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we're talking about a lot. You got something to, uh, for the people to hear? Hey, Fleek, what are your thoughts on gym PDA? Yeah, what are your thoughts on PDA at the gym? PDA at the gym? You're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me... Let me... Let's be <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to make your screen bigger, man. Hold on. Yeah. I'm do this shit. All right, man. Yeah, that, you got anything else for us? We out here recording. You called us through... Do- hey, Fleek. Right now. Yeah, well, quick thing. As we wrap up both these subjects, so Fleek, what's the best way to soft launch your ex on social media? Oh, uh, come on. <laughs> 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 what do you do? You tell her to go buy some real Prada chains because them shits you be wearing are fake as fuck. Damn. Oh. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn. It's a good. It's a good call. Yeah, you shouldn't. You shouldn't be wearing fake clothes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, bro. Hey, man. Thanks for tapping in. I'm gonna call you later. <laughs> All right, bye. Oh man, it's, that was so random, right? Yeah, like, who, 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 has, who has fake Prada shades? Yeah, it's he crazy. was talking about nothing, so right there, so man. Random. That was yeah. crazy. <laughs> Anyways, that was so specific. <laughs> 
Right. Anyways, all right, continue. Real plot of shades are hella expensive, anyway. <laughs> like, bro, they're like four hundred forty-three dollars before tax. I did just order these new off whites, though. Really, off white Arthur's? Which ones are those? The ones that like had the pieces cut out of them, or not? No, the. Do you see the one Christian and Raya be wearing? Yes, that was, those ones hard. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Those, cool. Yeah. That's hard. We'll bleep his name out. Um, <laughs> no, you can shout it out. <laughs> uh, uh, you leave me up. <laughs> that was fake. <laughs> nah, I fuck with you, man. I just <laughs> I was like, oh, those are clean. I was like, I was like, I need to get me a pair. He's like, I was like, which ones are they? He's like, they're the Arthurs. And I was like, yeah, that's the one I thought they were. It's tough with getting shades online, though. It is. You, can't you gotta like, try them on. No, you, you gotta know the size. If you yeah. know the size, they'll fit you. Is there like a glasses size? No, it's like yeah, a one size. Like it says width, one size. Which size? Yeah, the one sizes oh. are usually fucked cuz I mean, I got a big ass head. So you the one do. size are the one sizes what? usually don't <laughs> don't fit me. But like the the lens width, like if you know your lens width or like the the bridge width or whatever, yeah, you can you can buy them online. Hats don't normally fit you either. Huh? <laughs> no, I, I have some hats. He does have some hats. You do, I, well, you own I, them. I, I, I got some hats. He does have they, some hats. You do They fit on my head. It's not like yeah. I'm on the last link. Brilliant. <laughs> 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 <Just, laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right, man. So that was an interesting intermission that we just had. But um, thoughts on a PDA at the gym? That's not happening. It's a no-go for me. It's a non-negotiable. It's a non-negotiable. Doing but I think it's... That. The it's an epidemic made worse by the the fitness influencing TikTok epidemic too. Yeah, like yeah. people people bring. I personally I haven't seen too many people bringing their cameras into the gym and like filming themselves on like a tripod or something. Yeah, but it's I not, mean it's not happening as much in like San Francisco. But I feel like any yeah, LA I feel like gym if you, you go, go to a to, gym in LA, it's it's bad. Mm. It's wraps. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. Mm. Honestly, if you guys got caught up in like the back of one of those videos, would you say something? No. I'd send it to that Joey Swole guy. Yeah. The yeah. They'd just bald be called dude, the, the, the bald dude, the jacked you, yeah. bald You wouldn't dude. go up to him and be like, hey, bro, like, can you wait till I'm like outside of the frame? No, bro. It's it's honestly hella scary. <laughs> like, there are those girls. Like, there are those, like, there are like creeps. Like, yeah. there are creeps for sure. So let's address that. Like, there are creepy ass dudes. But there's also, like, I'm not talking about the PDA ones. Mm. I'm talking about, like, the girls that'll be like, in the middle of like the gym, like in the very middle, like very inconveniently set up in her place to assume no one's going to walk by. Yeah. And she's like doing her workout, like as she should be. And yeah, no one should ever be subjected to like someone staring at them while they're just trying to work on themselves. I get that. Sure. Call those people out. But even then she's walking by and it's like a dude just looks past in that direction or like he'll check to see if she's on the gym and that like we're using the machine for much longer and keep going. She'll be like, Ugh. Look at this creep. And it's like, bro, I'd be at the gym like fucking this now. Like, yeah. I don't know who's like, I'm not, I'm not like a weirdo by any means anyways, but like, I don't know. want to like look to see if someone's using a machine. It comes off to a camera the wrong way. Bro, They're it's like, gotten so bad. People look at me. I look away. I don't even make don't, eye contact. Hella, ba- hella, ba- hella bashful. Yeah, it's like, yeah. <laughs> hella, t- hella timid. Hella timid. <laughs> yeah, I can't even look you in the eye at the gym these days because people are going to get the wrong idea. Yeah. You know? <laughs> nah, that wasn't it. That yeah. wasn't appropriate. That's why, that. I see, yeah. that's why I asked earlier, are we going to be good at the time? <laughs> Just rock with it. You know I mean? <laughs> yeah, we already I used mean, it. We had to. We, yeah, had to rock we had no with other it. option. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. That whole gym shit's weird. Anyway, just go to the gym, work out. If you want to bring your girl, take your girl or your whatever. Um, man. Man. <laughs> Um, or but, anyone else, or anyone else, yeah, you know. But else. like, just don't make it uncomfortable for everybody else around you, you know. Because exactly. especially for first timers, because like someone that's going to the gym for the first time and they see a whole bunch of weird shit going on, they're probably not going to come back. Yeah, and fuck it up for them, you know. I mean, maybe they like that shit and they'll come back. Who knows? Their people are different. <laughs> Stronger chance that they don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what are some? Uh, uh, just question. Yeah. <laughs> what? What's the question? What are? <laughs> What are some red and green flags at the club for each gender? Mm. At the club. At the club. It's red for girls. It's what's a, a what's a what's a green flag at the club? Mm. You mean like before or after you've spoken to her? Just at the club before? You you see like a random like meeting for the just first time? Red and or green like flag your, behaviors at the club. Like, are you saying for this is someone that is your girlfriend or something? No, 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 that, no, 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 no. Just behavior at the club in general. If she's lit. It's a green flag. Green flag. Green flag. Really? Like if she, if there's some songs that really? come, you don't want to talk to no boring ass. What person do you mean? Really? I don't know, but like how lit? 
Like if she's lit, like having I a good see time. What you mean. I know she mean. Like if she's if she's lit, like having a good time, like singing along, you know. Her she's and her girls vibing. Are she's a having time. a good time, yeah. having you know, fun, vibing. being herself. You don't want to be in the club and be in a Absolutely. bad mood. Like, why are you here? If you're being yourself and you're just being yeah. fun, drama free, like you're yeah. just looking to like celebrate with the people you're there with for whatever occasion. Yeah. Fucking. Right. What, if, what if being be green flag? What if being yourself is like bent over, shaking your ass in the middle of the dance floor? That's, that's fine. Because I've if been the, on the middle of the dance has, floor. The receiving exact, end. She has ass. fun. If she has fun doing but that, is that a red flag? No. 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 I don't think for a girl that you would like, you would talk to her after. Yes. yes she's yeah. having fun yeah. dancing because i'd be like let's dance she's down to dance she yeah exactly dance. that's fun are you just are you I, i'm saying i agree it's a green flag if they're like vibing are you just looking like at her overly, like, oh, she's dancing it's haram yeah <laughs> <laughs> but if it's if it's going too crazy yeah there's a line <laughs> she's, having, becomes a she's, having, fun. she's having fun what is going yeah. too crazy tell me what is going too crazy like sh- shaking ass by herself in like the middle of the dance floor or some shit you know and no mean? one else is dancing yeah, she's the only one. <laughs> the club sucks, and the she's trying to make it no, fun. Yeah. No, I mean, like, people aren't really, like... No shake, one's dancing up, at the club? on all fours, like, shaking ass. Or it might be a red flag if she has, like, her feet on the wall, and she's, like, yeah. on in a handstand. I'm saying, like, all sure. fours. All, all four. fours. Yeah, all, fours cool. kind of all fours is All fours is cool. All fours is She's cool. just having fun. Yeah, she's just having fun. Damn, y'all got, so y'all got no red flags. Um, if she gets blacked out, if she gets way too she drunk, starts throwing up yeah, at the club. She, that's a red flag. No, there's definitely red yeah, flag. If she starts throwing like, up, dancing at the club, isn't dancing isn't a red, red flag. flag. It's just she's comfortable and she's having fun. If you start talking to her and she like can't like put sentences together, that's a red flag. One hundred percent. You know, um, that's a huge red flag. Going up to everybody, like every dude, like putting their arms around, like saying that, like, hey, talking to us. Yeah. Like, uh, if I've seen her kiss like fifteen dudes that same night, it's a red flag. <laughs> yeah. Um. If I talk to her and she's absolutely fucking hilarious, it's a green flag. Green yes. flag for if sure. If she likes tequila, that's a green flag. Yes. If she likes Hennessy, that's a green flag. Yes. If she likes vodka, that's wait, a red wait, flag. Wait, wait, let's reset. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if she likes yeah. Hennessy, that's a green flag. Green? Hell yeah. Mm. Hell yeah. yeah hell I've yeah. heard mixed reviews. Hennessy. I'm, I'm heme team, but mm. I've, I, some, you know, I, I've You're heard. You're heme team? You're not really heme team. We were like heme that. team all of college. We were heme team before he was heme team. He's not heme team. He's not at what? all. You don't even like Hennessy like that. I do like Hennessy. No, like you that. try to I'm act. Asian, you try though. to act hard. To my, like my Hennessy. Blood You're like, is oh part yeah, Hennessy. you know we on this heme. He's, <laughs> you are him team team actually. You yeah, are we team. had we, we had a bottle of Hennessy team. every weekend. We did have a bottle of Hennessy every. <laughs> it were not. And the best. I don't know how we afforded. I don't know how we survived. But if no, because you know what we do. What we're talking about broke college dodgers. Yeah, you said I don't know how we'd afford it. Do you remember what we do, bro? Not eat? No. What? <laughs> <laughs> so we get drunk quicker? Yeah. <laughs> no, bro. We'd get like the little like plastic flasks. Yeah. And like we'd get like, because like the fifth of Hennessy is like 50 bucks. Yeah. So, like, yeah 40 yeah. bucks. But the little plastic ones, which are like good for like five shots mm. or like four shots oh, per person. It's no, but that's, it's probably like 10 shots. Yeah. There. But like you two man it and like you get two of the homies. We like, it was like you, me, Johnny and Lowe's yeah. or something or like Fleet, whoever else we go out, we get two of them. We pull up to like a day, like a day like yeah. a day party. We just be sipping on that the entire time. That's how we afforded it. And then what you do is when it's almost empty, you go pour some water in it. Like, like soap, you know, like when your soap's about to be empty, you pour some water in that shit to make it look like it's half. And you then you drink that a little bit more. A lot. Did, how often did you do that? This is news to me. Anyway, <laughs> at the club, green flag, tequila, Hennessy, red flag, vodka, no, oh, no, green no. flag, mezcal. What's, green, a, what's the red flag alcohol? I just said vodka. Really? No. Just because no I don't way. like vodka. I, oh. I'm not a vodka fan. I'm not a vodka. But she can she can bounce. What if it she's out. like on her like diet and like? Then that's a green flag. Yeah, vodka soda. Everybody vodka, drinks vodka soda. Vodka sodas yeah. are nasty. No, you know what the real green uh, red flag is? It's gin. If you order Bombay by itself. Yeah, that's a red flag. Yeah, that's, that's, that's she's like, let me get some absinthe. Yeah, criminal. <laughs> <laughs> she will murder you. She will murder you that night. I take back criminal. the vodka red flag because I understand that some people are, you know, trying to be clean with the drinking. It's also, sometimes it's like the easiest uh, you, to if go. You down. hate vodka? Stand on that. I, 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 mean? I, I hate vodka personally. Yeah. I'm standing on that. Yeah. Here's but, the thing. I hate vodka, what? but I it is my bar drink. Is it? it what? Is. What? That makes no <laughs> sense makes, whatsoever. Because makes it no makes sense. me feel the least shitty the next day. Mm. That's why. I'm old enough to know that. Yeah. Hey, shout out to you. Your birthday's coming up. Hey, thanks, man. Yeah. yeah. Fuck thanks, yeah. man. Yeah. We'll have a good weekend. Yeah, we, we're we, all we, about we, tonight. Yeah. Specifically. What are we drinking tonight at the bottle service? 
I haven't put in the request yet. It's yeah. tequila, right? Oh, yeah, we're hitting the club. I'll for sure. Club? I'll nah, put, right. A lot of people don't like tequila. I'll like put that. in a tequila. No, I'll put yeah, in a tequila, tequila for sure. Because right. we get three. Oh, nice. Oh, oh so okay. tequila, Hennessy, and vodka. Yeah. For, wow. for, the trifecta. The trifecta. Wow. The triple threat. Wow. I can tell you what I'm really going to be on the. He's going to not really be on the heme. Like well, I was going to say, I can tell I you drink, what I'm not I, drinking. I, I drink more Hennessy than you guys. No. <laughs> no. No. You don't when know. When was the last time you bought Hennessy? No. Bro. Bro. You don't know. We no, 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 no. We're not talking no, no, about five years ago. What, we're, were your ex heme team? Like, we're still heme team. We're still heme team. You don't come back from that. Yeah. What? When was you the know, last time you bought Hennessy? Recently. We drank Hennessy like very recently. What? When we bought some Priv and we were just tr- turning up on ourselves? Yeah. We had some Priv. Yeah. I had some Priv like last week. Really? Okay. Yeah, I did. Well, who? You know. <laughs> were you the... Re- were you the... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, no, but uh, yeah, no, so Wait, well, aside from the fact that Rob's not heme team, I would say that uh, <laughs> we're straying away from the topic, we're straying away from the topic, we're red flag, the, yes, red flag, gin absinthe for liquor, okay, okay, okay. What about what about red and green flags for guys, for, guys. In the, for guy behavior in the club? I don't know because I don't really be trying to buy a red flag. I feel like if he's like trying to like go up to like trying to buy every other girl a drink, like oh, it might be um, a red flag if he just like sees a girl dancing and just like hops on her without talking that's to her. not even a red flag that's like a, that's a criminal well yeah that's a criminal, yeah, that's, that's, a criminal. that's weird that's weird <laughs> behavior. That, that's a fucking weird ass, ass, behavior. ass grabbing guys red flags that's, again not yeah. a red flag just a criminal, criminal. Yeah. yeah not <laughs> that's, a red flag that's, that's a, just like, like you deserve to get kicked out the orange club. flag for your orange jumpsuit <laughs> green flag buying the boys around Buying the boys green around. Green flag for okay. sure. That's yeah, a green, yeah, that's yeah, a green yeah, flag. Sure. flag. Yeah, we fuck with that. Flag. Green flag is also dancing. I feel yeah, like for dancing, guys. Yeah. But not like, it doesn't have to be on like some like freaking just like, you yeah. know, like feel yourself. Song, you know, some like, you know. What if he's going hell? Not, none of the moves I just did, but. Um, busting, some, busting crazy moves in the dance circle. Red, oh, like red he's like flag. he's like, boying Like he's, he's shutting it down? Like he's he's on the ground. Oh, red flag. It's red flag. But but like on the ground doing like some slick shit. You know what I mean? Like it's clean? Maybe like a. Like the worm? A b-boy kind of windmill thing uh, no, red wood, flag or green flag no, it's the same place for that right? like you, you in pants stay on, yeah. stay on, stay on your feet yeah, bro, stay you're wearing slacks feet. Yeah, stay <laughs> on your feet it's a red stay flag on your feet. Um, standing standing against the wall doing oh, nothing oh being a wallflower talking about oh she hella bad red oh flag. yeah red flag red flag, <laughs> <laughs> red flag. that's a loser <laughs> we got boys like that though shout out to them hey, hey if you don't have game that doesn't mean you're a red flag but you know like Get your ass together. <laughs> what, about, what about what about I got one having a being at the t- being at a table. So you yeah. have a table, yeah, but with no hose, <laughs> no women. Is, that, is <laughs> that a red flag or green flag? I don't think that's a red flag. I mean, I, I feel like it could be a green flag. Like it could be you just with the boys. You just, yeah, you're just with the with the, the boys, boys on a whim. Chilling, you know, mm-hmm. like you don't always need to have need girls around you to yeah, have yeah. a good time exactly sometimes it's important to just be able to go out with the homies because sometimes like, it's like vibe. if it's not natural like these yeah. girls that you'd want to be there yeah then it's like oh you're doing too much and well, it's like you're trying like yeah what y'all gonna talk about maybe it's a red flag for girls though i don't know they see it, i mean but if the table. guys are like hella weird that's but if the guys true. are all vibing and having a good time in the bottle that's service if that's, they look like they're fun like, it's actually if anything from what i've seen more welcoming to girls like if it's like especially if like well, the dude well, like, no 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 i think girls what? like a if you have girls with guys. you it's more inviting to the true uh, yeah but i'm saying like if you're a group of guys and like there's a group of, like let's say you go on a boys trip to vegas yeah we've done that yeah and um several times like, like yeah. let's say you go on like a boys trip to vegas and then like there's a girl's trip and, like you bought like there's all their girls it's all your guys yeah. Yes. Like, it's more seamless, but also sometimes it's like if you already have girls there, sometimes it can be on some like, oh, what you trying to talk to me now for? It? Well, no, not no, really. I, like, I think it is be, more. You, it you is more be, welcoming, but yeah. I think like if it is a bunch of guys and you're actually like seemingly before you even talk to them, clearly are guys that are chill and are having fun and are just have a good time, no problem. Then like green, green, green. green, green. That's not always the case, though. Not I agree. every bottle service section is built the same. I agree. You know what I'm saying? Who's not- your dream bottle service team? Damn, how many <laughs> spots do I get? You get anyone in the world. You get five. Here, I'll, re- I'll reset the question. That's um, hard because some people are going to feel left out. I don't know. <laughs> some people are gonna your, be- uh, you got to just name five. Who's your dream team bottle service group? Three celebrities. You get to pick three celebrities three or three anybody's each. Hmm. Anybody in the world. Three people. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Okay. It'd be funny as hell. Yeah, funny, <laughs> funny as funny hell. hell. It'd be hell. But like, would it be too, be hilarious. In this situation, you're single. 
Okay. In this situation, like the team, like you're single, like, would you want Kevin Hart there? Like he's t- a little too funny. <laughs> like, yeah. like, you gotta get some smooth like players. On I'm not gonna lie. I would. I'd like to have my Drake in my bottle service section. Yeah, nah, Drake yeah. would be crazy. Could, Drake, like you're I the backup. You're, you're the backup. You're, well, the you're backup gonna be to a, d- any celebrity. You're gonna be the yeah, backup. That's you know? not true. Yeah, that's not true. Because I would have like Jonah Hill. He's still <laughs> he's pulling still people Jonah like, Hill. But people were like, "Oh my god, right. is that Jonah Hill?" Uh, and then they're like, "Oh." Ronick's clean though, <laughs> I, like, but like, yeah, but I'm fucking with Kevin Hart and, and I'm having Drake. a great time. I'd say Jonah Hill, Seth Rogen, to be honest, and yeah. then like to no, you got to think no, about he's it. He's right. Yeah, you have to think. He's of, right. You're not no Drake and Kevin Hart are in the they're, section. They're, they're like, oh, what's good with Boozy? I love you. You're clean, but yeah. hell no, yeah. <laughs> hell no. They are taking all your hoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <you're, laughs> but right. if you're going for the vibe, if you're just trying to have a good, t- I think no matter what vibe I'm going for, I think. If I have Jonah Hill and Seth Rogen there, if yeah, I'm on some like, good. I'm tr- like you're there. If you're trying to have a good time, you're gonna have the best fucking time. Like they're hilarious. And then like you maybe do add in someone else. Like, uh... but who's like on some Family Man shit, but is clean like Obama? <laughs> <laughs> no, having that... Obama in the All right, Will Smith. Crazy. Will Smith. Nah, nah. No, no. You don't want Will Smith in you your section. Nah. Who's on some Family Man shit, but? Okay, maybe Kevin Hart isn't the worst. Though. Kevin Hart is a good one. That's a good one. I think Drake in the section is great look. Not for you. It's a great look. Not, be, it's not, not a bad look. If you're for flexing me. on, like, I mean, like, if you're trying to flex pick, on, like, if you want, yeah, exactly. if you want to just have a pick. For a pick, hard. Yeah. So but if you're having a good time, like, if you're trying you to might like, be distracted yeah. because of, like, this is going to sound kind of weird, yeah. but, like, from the influx of women that will. Not give there, a fuck about you. Be like, he will have in front you know? of him, and that's, not you. It's That's fine. I know, but, like, so They're, what do you get? Are you so saying you, you're saying like you're not gonna? You're get, you were in a section with Drake. You're, you're, getting, to, you're saying toe to toe. I stand no chance against Drake. No, absolutely. I'm, I'm, <laughs> saying, I'm saying toe to toe. Absolutely. I'm saying no. Well, so yeah. So I'm saying toe to toe. Like there isn't even a sliver of a chance. Yeah. That you stand against Drake. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> Not on some like hella hyping up Drake. You're shit. hating, man. You're hating. <laughs> <laughs> You're hella hating because I'd be fresh as hell sometimes in the club. I'd be fresh as hell, man. But you to that? I've got some unreleased hits. D- he's the I biggest. I've got, got some tracks, man. I'm There's a reason they're unreleased. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying you compared to like the biggest artist in the world. Yeah. You're smoked. <laughs> yeah, yeah you're, you have no GGs. chance. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, if you get like some like funny comedians that like, you see yeah, me? Yeah. You know what I, mean? I, I agree Be- with you, Ronnie. Because they're. I'll break- throw Dave Chappelle in there. Yes, Dave, Dave Chappelle. That's, would be that's good. actually Dave a perfect. That's a there. perfect person. Dave Again, Chappelle. too funny and could be cooking you, but on some like, he's got a wife and yeah. like, yeah. you're good, Dave. Again, yeah. this is an I'm single scenario, but yeah. that's what I, like that's the way to. Mm-hmm. But if you're just trying to go peak, honestly, that's I think in all scenarios, like you're just trying to have a good time, that team still works. Hell yeah. yeah. That team just still like works. Like an Andrew Schultz, he'd be lit. He'd be he'd lit. He'd also he'd take lit. your hose though, too. Yeah. 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 He'd be he'd be on some schemey. Like he'd be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he'd be on some like schemey shit. <laughs> I got one more red flag for guys in the club. If you have your boy walk up to a girl and say, Hey, like my oh, friend my. thinks you're cute. Yeah. If you can't walk up to her by herself and you say something, I think it's that's a red flag. A, you know what I think could be a double edged play? What's up? You you know who always ends up coming out on top in that scenario? Who? The guy saying Yes. My friend. Mm-hmm. So maybe Maybe that's a scheme. You're Oh. I feel like oh. it's for sure been done before. Like if you're trying to go up to this girl, yes. like you find your And it takes all the boy. pressure yeah. off of you. You find your yeah. beatest boy. Like, hey, my, my my boy thinks you're cute. And like, hey, hey and you tell him like, hey, go fuck this up real quick. <laughs> and nah, then he goes, not nah. fuck it up. And no, goes, fuck it up. Then it's like he introduced me to like an ass. No, not fuck it up. But like you just know like he it's like, not like it's she's not, not gonna it's not, not gonna click. Him. It's not gonna click. You just no, you don't just go be like treat her like shit. No, don't do that. <laughs> don't ever do that. She just like, but like a good a good friend like would just be kind of would he, just go up and just like not really like say much you know what I mean Even or she, she could, could be from a farm you know? like um I don't know you know I don't really think so and that's when you're like well, because what you ha. do there is no 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 you, <laughs> no you can't yeah. no you go. can't rip, you can't show your hand yeah, in that yeah. situation oh, mm. be like oh my friend thinks you're cute and it's like I right. like you like flash a little smile you come with that maybe that confidence you were lacking to go and like introduce yourself <laughs> like you're like fuck it I gotta mask everything I have right there to be like. 
hey what's up hey how you doing sorry i don't mean to like interrupt your night but like i just have to say like my friend over there thinks you're really cute and it's like your friend over there like huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, hey and it's like all right well and like he's right there it's like all right cool like i'll let you two get out like i'll let you two you know do your thing and you go away and then she's like comparing you to now who's left in front of her and then comparatively she's gonna want you what in a best case so scenario, you, what if she leave? could very well be in a scenario where it's like, fuck both of these yeah. dudes. Or what if she's like, oh, the friend's kind of cute. That's why I said you find your beatest boy. <laughs> what if she's like, oh, like I kind of, kind of digging him. Then, then what do you do? Shouts, to, shouts out to him. Damn. Yeah. Damn. It's a risk. It's a risk you got to take. Yeah, it's a risk you, know? you got to take. Yeah. yeah, but it's also yeah. like, I feel like that's like the sad way out. No, but like I it, agree, it, it it might work. It if might you work. like. You leave them to it for like thirty seconds or a minute. You go out. You go. You go over there. Talk to your other boy real quick, and then you bounce right back. Like ah, like come up, come back with the energy. Well, that's why. Like you always got to go out. You, come, you know what it, you do? You come back with a drink for both of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's why. Tough. Like in your group of friends, you always got to have one friend that's a mute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the one that doesn't say the laid the, back dude that, that doesn't say, say anything. Yeah. We can blur, we can bleep this part. This, no, part, no, this is for no, y'all. Shout no, out to no, AJ. Shout out to AJ, man. Bro, don't say that, bro. I was, don't do that. <laughs> Sorry, you can bleep that part. I have to say it for you. I have to say it for me. So don't you know, say that, the tip bro. Of your and you're like, nah, AJ. I said, shut up. Don't say that name, bro. That's that, we gotta cut that out. Yeah, we are gonna cut that out. <laughs> you make me edit shit, bro. Yeah, that's I'm why sorry, I was like, I'm don't sorry. say the I'm name. Sorry. That's I'm just sorry. said, don't I'm say the name, bro. Oh my god, bro. That's out of pocket, bro. I'm sorry. Uh, but you know, it's good. no. But what I will say to your point, though, it mm. is a red flag that, like, if you don't have that confidence yourself to like go up and be like, maybe it's not a red flag. You don't have the confidence, but like, you know, it's just like, come on, like, yeah. if you have your friend being like, that's like some middle school shit, like, yeah, hey, Ronick thinks you're cute, yeah. and it's like, do you think he's cute? She's like, no, <laughs> maybe that was just my trauma. <laughs> <laughs> that's how this went down for me. But um, yeah, what I will also say is red flag. Last one, we can move on to something else. But last thing for a dude. You're in a section and you didn't throw mm. the mm. biggest red flag. Yeah. You're in a section. That's crazy. A yeah. rooftop or something. Oh, yeah. oh, like a cool rooftop Wait, you, bar you, you or something tell, like Are we that? throwing tonight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's not talking about tonight. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hey, bro, I can't make it. <laughs> <laughs> I still owe him for, I still owe him for this. <laughs> I told you to charge us. <laughs> oh, oh, right, let's move on. I didn't this. even have any of the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting bar drinks. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next topic. Yeah, sure. No worries. I mean, I think it's it's uh it's it's interesting to think about this, but like how would you mark your territory at a significant other's house? Mm. Mark your territory. Because I can yeah. think like because like girls will like inherit like They'll leave, kind of mark their territory. Leave like a hair, leave like a hair tie. In the shower. Tie. In the shower is normally. Not, or, or yeah, anywhere, like on the on the dresser. Mm. Like maybe leave a hair clip or something. Like they'll leave things. You know what I mean? For sure. mm. Or like a comb. Mm. Um, oh, well, a like, brush. Yeah, if you bring another girl over, like they'll definitely notice that type of shit. Mm-hmm. But like for guys, do guys, I don't Like I've never really thought to mark my territory besides like taking a shit no nah, like, like i like normally kneel on my, <laughs> like, yeah, and, do you what, leave, and leave it there what do you mean <laughs> like a little skid mark it's like, no yeah, bro how do stop I... talking about that that's g it's never <laughs> <laughs> skid marks have never been you never cool. left a skid mark at your girl's house no nah, i wipe no. it yeah. no i've never done that <laughs> i don't even want her to know that i poop yeah <laughs> You know, like that's not. There's nothing G about that. Yeah, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> yeah, <it's> not, <laughs> not in the slightest. Yeah. Um, nah, I <laughs> feel like I don't. Like, I don't think. I don't Just think I ever have. Up, I don't right. think I've ever left. <laughs> maybe like I've left like a pair, like some clothes, but like yeah. it's like I'm, that she'll like, also wear. Yeah, but like. I usually like need all my stuff. <laughs> 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 so, like, I don't bring shit. I don't, on I yeah, don't have yeah. like extra face wash i have my face wash yeah. <laughs> like i don't have like an extra fucking you know set of sh- body wash shampoo that's that's in my shower yeah <laughs> like, mm-hmm. so nah i don't really like maybe like yeah like my like daily disposable contact lenses in her trash <laughs> yeah i don't think i'd leave anything yeah. I'll, I'll let people borrow stuff yeah, for sure. But like, I don't like intentionally say, "Hey, hey I'm gonna leave this right here yeah. just in case." One hundred percent. Leaving yeah. shit. So leaving shit is female behavior. Or maybe they so just, it's just not behavior that I do. I don't. I, yeah. I don't partake in that type of behavior. Yeah, neither do I. So we can deduce that it's 
It could be the yeah. hypothesis. I could just start like leaving a do rag everywhere. Hmm. Marking your territory. Mm. Yeah. A wave cap. A wave cap. <laughs> like one that I didn't wear. Yeah. <laughs> just in the package. <laughs> just leave the do rag. <laughs> like it's like a fucking lunch bag. <laughs> <Yeah. just> Shabooser. <laughs> Oh my god. god. Uh, yeah, I mean, I personally nah, not really. I don't need to like mark my territory. I think there have been times where I'm like oh fuck, I forgot my iPhone charger. Yeah. But like but that could I be want anyone's it. iPhone charger. But like, and if you on, do like, that the now, other side of the bed. Yeah. And, but it's still like I want that back. Yeah, like, fuck yeah, yeah, I want that back. I'm turning around and going back to get it. Yeah. I'm I'm not forgetting the iPhone charger. Yeah. I, nah, need I don't that. really be marking my territory like that. I feel like that's I feel like it's unnecessary. Speaking of marking your territory, so Adam twenty two, host of No Jumper. <laughs> and <laughs> Adam twenty two, host of No Jumper, host of Plug Talk. He just got married to Lena the Plug. They've been, you know, known to do podcasts together. They've also been known to do porn together for many years. Um, and in these, in the porns that they do, they typically involve another girl. There's been talk for a long time, like, hey, Adam, would you ever let, like, your now wife bang another man? And oh, he's because he's been hooking up with other yeah, girls. Yeah, because he's been hooking up with other women and her at the same time. And he's always been like, no, 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 it would never happen. So recently on Twitter, Lena the Plug just announced that July 13th, mark your calendars, y'all. <laughs> Mark your fucking calendars. <laughs> mark, that, your calendar. mark your calendars. What's wrong with you? <laughs> she is going to be releasing her first scene with the professional, not just any professional, the Jason Love. I don't <laughs> <laughs> You're hella weird, bro. What do you mean, the Jason Love? <laughs> you think me and Rob are Who the fuck is Jason, Jason Love? Jason Love. You think me and Rob are You're weird. <laughs> You're a strange man. What do you mean? Why are you more hyped about him than like? <laughs> this is a huge moment for the black community, bro. <laughs> is he black? Yes. Okay. It's, a, it's a huge moment for the black community, man. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it is. it's a huge moment for the black community. Do you think Adam Twenty Two has lost her? Oh, because well, I, I don't know. It's his wife. Yeah, like they, but they just got married and now he's letting her. They had a her. kid. I think they had a kid. They do have a kid. They do have a kid. They have a kid and yeah. now she's like, I mean, she's been like, ten and she said she was like tentative about it and they've been like talking about it for a while. Yeah. And, and like that. she finally decided to like cross that line. No, you he know decided. I mean? he, it, it was, was he, him. Because she asked him multiple times on the way to the scene, like, are you sure you want to do this? Like she gave like him she multiple She was giving outs. him outs. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. he was like, no, I want you to have sex with another man. Well, she still did it. But then so after good. the fact, he was because like, like, "What is he gonna like if he says like no?" Then he's like, "Come." Well, she's doing it for because she knows. The insecure think about it. One. We're talking about no. Well, think about it. We're talking about it right now. Yeah. So like, it's content for them. Like she knows, like doing that, like that's business for her. But like she still, even with that, knowing how much money they make, she was like, "But I won't do it if you're not comfortable." But I won't do it if you're not comfortable. And he's like, "No, I I want you to do it." But he did say after the fact he was feeling some type of way. Yeah, of course. So. What do you what do you guys think about that? Like, would if you were him, or if you were in that scenario, like, just say like you've been doing this with your significant other for this long, you're like, no, no other guys, and then you let her do it with another guy. Like, how would you feel about that? Yeah, I'd probably feel the exact same way as Adam Twenty Two would. Yeah, right? like I, I would feel bad about it. Yeah, there's like a kind of a double standard. You've been doing like a bunch of shoots with other girls with your girl. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he's been like hooking up with girls without his wife. He there probably, there was maybe, I, if I, that's yeah. a thing then you can't really say anything yeah if he if, if he's been doing like, that then like it goes both ways like can't say anything i think it's a fucked up situation yeah um objectively like but i don't know like that just i couldn't i couldn't personally like i'd be like no nah, that's that's my girl yeah like, exactly yeah. nobody else, we're that's not my girl it's my wife yeah like, people so, on twitter people on instagram the comments that's my, they're like, that's yeah. my kid's mom yeah. Yeah. <laughs> people on the internet are basically saying adam has lost her yeah i think so yeah yeah i think i think it is like a little bit different I yeah. mean, like there is, there is definitely like a double standard, um, but I think it is a little bit worse comparatively if she like was willing to sleep with someone versus if he was. Well, I, I think um, we'll see how bad it was July thirteenth. <laughs> <laughs> let us, let us know. Yeah, let us know, but, man. No, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, here. we're not watching. <laughs> you let us. Oh, I mean, no, I'm not watching either. But like, hey, y'all, let us know. Let me see yeah. your calendar. Right yeah. <laughs> I, I don't even got a calendar. Yeah. Um, Especially if he's long. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like if he's if he's whoa, crazy, I would man. I would feel terrible, bro. I would feel terrible. 
<laughs> shit. Yeah. Wow. That, shit would, that shit would make me sick to my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Probably do that to her too, man. Yeah. <laughs> man. Yeah. I don't know. I know he was. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. Man. I, I no. Yeah. No. No. And what? Also. <laughs> <laughs> You're like. You wouldn't feel as, like, you can't lie, you wouldn't feel as bad if he wasn't as long as you were, you know? You wouldn't feel as bad. I'd, you, yeah, that, I'd you would feel, 100% feel worse if you knew he was longer than you. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah but, like, yeah, I'd yeah, still, yeah. like, it doesn't take, it'd still be, like, right, Don't do this, it doesn't this. take away from shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it does suck. If he's longer than you, it sucks. It's, if yeah, it's, if it's he's sucks. longer than you, it's worse. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, you're like, damn, she looks like she's enjoying this shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'd be hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be so hot. I'd be like, yeah, I mean, like, if I've been fucking other girls, like, yeah, you could do it, but how long is he? <laughs> <laughs> the way you're asking that before. Let me see, let me see a pic. <laughs> Pause. What? Pause. You. No, what? You. Oh, Sounds, like <laughs> Sounds like you're jealous of her. Sounds like you're jealous of her. Let him try with me for informational <laughs> purposes, you know? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> fucking researching ass at it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what, what that, that said. Hey, yeah. <laughs> nah. Yeah, we gotta hold <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I feel like uh, I feel like we got a pretty jam-packed episode. Is there anything else that you guys want to cover today? How are we doing? Are we... Oh, let's talk about this this last one. Last one? Yeah, last we one. Got, we got okay. time for one more. Okay. Um, Getting catfished by a transgender. I'm not going to lie. That happened to my homie the other day. Wow. It did happen to my homie the other day. So if you're watching this, you know who you are. I'm not going to name drop you. But um, she DM'd him on Instagram saying, hey, cutie. And she's like super well known. Like she had like over a million followers. So he's like, hey, boozy, look at this. Like she's kind of bad, right? And I was just like, "Um, let me see this. And I like looked up her name on Wikipedia. I'm not going to mention the name. Because I'm like, who is this person that has a million followers? YouTube just posted about her. She seems like she's kind of popping. And I was doing my research. And it said that a few years ago, this individual is actually a man that transitioned to becoming a woman. And I sent him the link. And then I also sent him a screenshot. And he was just like, oh, my God. <laughs> he was like, "Oh my god!" Wait, did they meet up? No, they didn't meet up. Oh, they didn't they, meet up. They they, they probably would have met up if I didn't show them that. Yeah. And there's nothing like it's totally fine. Like it's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with this. But like, be upfront. Be upfront. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Be upfront. Be upfront. Be upfront. You know, that's like, exactly what I'd say too. Yeah. Just, I mean, that's like the same concept as like anything. Like yeah. the same ca- concept as like catfishing anything. Like, oh, you say like I'm. Six two yeah. on a dating app, but like you pull up and you're like five six. Yeah, it's like oh well, you're just not who you said you were, yeah. or like are portraying yourself to be. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I got another homie too. Um, I'm not gonna name his name Which either. Is fine, just be upfront about it. Yeah, yeah. 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 I got another home, like another homie. He was out one night um, with a couple girls that he met at the bar. Um, one of our boys actually spotted it out. He was like, "Hey, I don't think like this is what you think it is." He was like, "Nah, nah, it, it it's good." He goes back to the hotel with the two girls. And the lights are off, and they start messing around. No. One thing leads to another. Oh, I know this, Obi. <laughs> One thing leads to another, and he starts to feel some shit that's not supposed to be there. Wow. <laughs> he feels some shit that's not supposed to be there. Lights turn on. He's like Is in he- shock, like in tears. You he know, said like, he like book he he booked, booked it. He, it was like in a casino. Wait, like but there a were two, he was with two girls. Yes. Yeah. And but like, and they, were was, both? like they were both. Yeah, they were both. Uh, and like transgender. he was wow. like he was like caught off guard because he was like, oh, I'm like having like this this threesome, this sick ass threesome. And like he goes up and I like he's like he like said he like literally got up, got a shit, booked it out of there. Like he's like I didn't tell any of my boys. I was like he's like for the longest time, and I was like, dude, that's fucking insane yeah and i was like yeah i was like i'm honestly surprised you're telling me and i was like that's and obviously we're not gonna name the name yeah no 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 obviously 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 yeah but um yeah he said he got out of that casino like out of like the hotel or whatever that they were in like right after so fast and i was like it's honestly just like be up all be up front front with like like i feel like that goes with anything like whoever you are in any regard in life just like be upfront about that, yeah, especially if you know like that might not be where someone else is naturally inclined to lean towards. Exactly. Like, lean into. like we're not in the business of judging anybody. We're not judging at all. 100%. But like, if if you are going to make a decision, just be as honest as possible 
it might work out in your favor. You never know. It might not. But like, it's better than like tricking somebody into doing something they wouldn't. I really get do. the perspective too. I feel like sometimes people are like, oh, but like if I really like some people have a stigma. If I really like reveal like who I am, and there should be no shame in there's that. No, yeah, there's, there's no, no shame in that. But it's like it it becomes a thing when it's like. What if you had led with it and then they're like, I ain't no problem. Yeah. That's that a, ain't no yeah, problem. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, exactly. That ain't no problem. Exactly. Like, it's because good. there are people out there that would be like, okay. Like, I don't so, go, yeah, like, so where are you from? Yeah, 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 yeah so, exactly. Like, continues with like conversation. Yeah. But um, I don't know. Like, I feel like if you like find out later, it's like. I'd be so hot. Call this beat for this episode. Call the beat. I'd be so heated. Yeah. The show, bro. Yeah. Well, hey, we had a jam pack episode. We fuck with y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Yeah. Um, Man, hey. if there's anything that y'all want, I mean, we <laughs> we talk about some random shit today. <laughs> we always talk about some random shit. Um, but we are we are excited to announce we do have some guests coming up for y'all over the next couple weeks as yes, well we too. Do. So excited to make that official. Bring some of the homies back. Bring some people that'll be fun. Add a little bit of diversity to the pod. I mean, like we are pretty diverse already, though. Like that's what I mean, you know, like we got it doesn't some get any more diverse yeah, than this. We got some we got some representation over here. So shout out to you guys. Go ahead and smash that like button. Throw something in the comments. Hit the follow. Um, and yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for tuning in. Cool. cool.